it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and it is the 31st of July. If you have stuck with us this long, thank you, thank you. If you're just joining in, don't worry about it. There is a playlist for everybody who has played along all month, um, and I have a feeling things will be added uh, even throughout the year because it does just say 2023. So uh, we do this series on the last Wednesday of every month as well. So maybe I'll just keep adding to it. Let me know if you think that um, would be a good idea. So today's inspiration comes from one of my pins when I was working on a grad party for my son who graduated this year, but I'm actually documenting a prom two years ago. Uh, these are my last prom photos for 2022. I haven't started 2023 yet. <clears throat> I uh, have decided that uh, I feel like I'm missing things, so I am going back to scrapbooking chronologically. Um, so I have a list of what still needs to be scrapbooked for 2022, and so I'm going to do that until 2022 is done. And then I will work on 2023 and I will probably work at least within like a month or two of, of where I'm at. I probably won't extend too far because I think what will happen is then I, I start feeling behind and confused. And so I am using the project pad from Pink Paisley called uh, Indigo and Ivy. And I actually had two of these. So one is mainly used up. Uh, but not completely. So I have this beautiful gold that you can see uh, in the background that I gutted and you can see in the pen that it is blue and gold which are uh, the colors and funny enough uh, for the most part the pictures uh, everybody was kind of wearing blue and the sign was gold now, uh, his girlfriend was in red, and I am basically ignoring that color altogether. I think that uh, Laura Alberts calls it color avoidance, maybe. Um, and so I'm avoiding that color altogether. But I will tell you that because she is wearing red and the carpet that they were on for the picture is red, it really brings your eye to that picture first, which I'm totally fine with. And then you can look at the funny picture of the boys being goofy. So that uh, that is what I am pulling. It's, it's basically a mood board. Um, and it inspired me to do pictures of school. I mean, not that they're at school, but this is a school function. So... So that's where I am going. I am using liquid glue to glue down to this glitter paper because I'm not sure anything else will, will stick. Now I do have to trim down this photo a little bit. I'm not quite sure why, but <laughs> I just have to trim it down just a smidge. So I'm gonna cut off a little bit more of that red that I am kind of avoiding. And I use liquid glue again. I did go ahead and did some kind of torn layers uh, to the background paper. The main background paper is blue. And then there's kind of that florally with a white undertone. So that can bring in that white in the inspiration as well. And, you know, they're all dressed up and there's, there's a cap and gown over there. You are kind of all dressed up for that as well. So I looked at the cut apart and there was this one and it said top five. And I thought that was funny because there are five of his friends, including his girlfriend in these photos. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to write their names on them. Like, you know, that way, that way I kind of know who the kids are, but if for some reason he forgets, um, I'm just going to put them on there. So I'm looking at some of the other cut apart, seeing if there's anything. I did kind of pull out some of the blue things and I don't end up using any of them. I, I just couldn't make anything work. I think a lot of them were just too big. 
Uh, and since my photos were taking up so much of the real estate, that just, that wasn't going to work. So I'm mainly going to use the stickers uh, from the sticker sheet. So you can see this first sticker sheet is is pretty much killed. I, I have used quite a bit of it. Uh, so I have actually taken care of one of these project pads, which is pretty good. And then uh, I will just have another one to do, which is fine. This was a great collection. I really enjoyed it. And it's very different from some of the other collections, I feel like. So it it's, it's a good one. So I'm good with having two. So I went ahead and put that sticker down at the bottom that says the good life. I'm going to add a tab that says the best. Also a couple of hearts and... Uh, one that says beautiful, also uh, a floral, and then a piece that says laughter and enjoy. And then I'll go off screen and add my title in some gold thickers that's the same kind of sparkly gold. And it says let's party, which is what the, the sign uh, in their little photo area kind of says. And I thought about adding the word love but changed my mind. So this is pretty much going to do it for my layout today. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed the entire month of Off the Board. I hope you got to play along. Thank you, thank you to everybody who has played along as well as everybody who has taken time to watch our videos. Uh, we are so glad that you are here and we love chatting with you. So that is going to do it. You can catch Off the Board every month, uh, the last Wednesday of the month, and remember to wear your crown. We'll see you later. Bye.